Hey guys, this is Jen from Altenew, and I'd like to introduce you to the newest collaboration by The Stamping Village. This is a stamp set called Happy Birthday. The Stamping Village is a collaboration between 12 different companies, and we originally got together because of the Creativation Trade Show, and we really wanted to show how amazing these companies work together. We know how when you create, you don't simply just use products from one company. So these collaborations are intended to show you how flexible each of these company styles are and how you can use them together to create one amazing project. The Happy Birthday stamp set, as you would imagine, has a happy birthday theme. And you can see each of the different contributions from every company right here. And they range from elegant to sweet to really fun. So I know that no matter what your card making style, you're going to find something you really love here. The portion that we created is right over here and it says sending birthday wishes. Now we've included a sentiment along with a small detailed flower and a little tiny leaf. Although these are small, I'm going to show you today how you can use them to create a really fun card with a lot of impact. I'm going to be making a one layer card here just because it's nice, quick, and easy. I'm using our new grid cutting mat, and this is fantastic because we have the A2 size guidelines here, which is really gonna make it easy to center everything up as I'm stamping. I've mounted my stamp onto a little acrylic block here, and I'm going to be inking it up in our obsidian pigment ink. I'm stamping this towards the top edge of our card here. And I'm just applying some firm pressure to make sure everything has a great impression. And you could see how wonderful that looks. I've selected two different purples and two different green colors. First, we have Lavender Fields and Deep Iris. And I'll be pairing that with Firefly and Grass Field. Now, I'm not too sure exactly what my placement is going to be for these flowers, and I wanted to have the flexibility between switching between stamping the leaves and the flowers. So I've mounted both onto the same acrylic block, and this is just going to make it easy to stamp, flip, and stamp, and I can just go back and forth like this. You can also use two different blocks, but sometimes I think it's just simpler to keep it on one. All right, now I'm just going to go in with one of my purples and I'm going to be avoiding the area right around our sentiment because I want it to have a little bit of more of a focus. And if I get too close, I think things are going to look a little too cluttered. I'm going to continue to stamp leaves and flowers until I filled up most of my background. Again, I do want to keep these pretty evenly spaced, but it doesn't have to be perfect. I wouldn't want it to look too planned out. Don't forget to stamp elements off the side of your cardstock. That way you really get the impression of a continuous pattern. And here's my completed stamped pattern. I really love how cute that looks. I wanted to add a bit more color to my stamped pattern. So I went ahead and grabbed the Warm Sunshine Artist Marker and I used the bullet end to put little tiny dots scattered throughout the background of the card. I really like how this adds a cute and whimsical feel to the already sweet background. To finish the card, I grabbed a bit of black and white striped paper from the Essential Black and White 6x6 paper pad because this helps to tie in the black sentiment that we have and it balances everything out. I used a bit of glue tape to adhere the strip towards the bottom of the card, and that finishes everything off. I want to thank you for joining us on this video hop. If you like this happy birthday stamp set, I encourage you to get it because part of the proceeds will be donated to the Dreaming Zebra Foundation in an effort to support the cause. We also have a fantastic giveaway and all the details will be below in the description box. I hope you have a wonderfully crafty day. Bye!